Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to the stream. We are still playing OMSI. Still OMSI. I tried uh, setting up something for ETS2. I saw some relatively new stuff, but not so new as to pique my interest so much. So I decided I think we'll push through with OMSI today, and maybe next week we'll go back to ETS2. Hopefully, or ATS, hopefully something new comes out by then. Things seem to be pretty quiet in the Troxium world recently. I guess everyone's, I don't know, either doing real life stuff, preparing for uh, a big update or something. But yeah, it seems to be pretty quiet the past few days. I've been looking for some new mods. Couldn't find any new ones. There were a few, yeah, which we can maybe try next week. But I did, I do have something new as well for OMSI. I just hope it works. So I haven't tried it. Anyway, pick up, picking up from the previous stream, we did start our Clumsy Bus Inc., our own company. And um, hopefully you guys can see and hear me, by the way. <laughs> so yes, we did start our company. We did grind a bit. We did uh, try to level up. And uh, offline, I've been playing as well. And I've actually gotten somewhere. I've gotten somewhere. Uh, we're rank 4 now. Uh, how do we see that? I think we can apply there. Ranking 4. If we look at the list of companies, Clumsy Bus Inc. is still there. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not really sure if anyone came and applied because I, I, I will share some updates about this. But you can see we have a promo right now for, uh, for, a, for the next few days, for the next probably 5 or 6 days. We have only 1% tax. So if you want to earn your own money, this is the company to be in because if you look at the other companies most of them are 30 percent 50 45 yeah but you don't see anything with just one percent in there and why do i have a wrong logo uh you don't see one percent tax in there so if you want to earn money this is the company to be in this is like a promo uh first time promo week yeah so that's uh, sh some shameless advertising for you center that one there's nothing much new from SES because they're currently moving offices. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. They, they also just had that offsite as well, right? Where they had that barbecue thingy. So it, it makes sense that it's pretty quiet. So you can see on the left side here, I've been doing a couple of tours. And leveling up. So I'm not really sure if anyone has applied yet because I just figured out that this company even though we have our own company now, care of the developers, so they've given me a company. I've requested for one, so I can control the time and uh, control the buses and the maps. Um, the problem is, and I think I'll have to turn on my music now, because it's getting pretty quiet. There you go. The problem is, I don't have the skills to hire people. So even though my, we have our own company, the skills required for facilitating and managing your company are a completely different thing. So if you look at the trainings here, look, we're rank four now. You have 3,900 euros. If you look at the trainings here, you have others. And you have three choices in here, finances, disposition, and staff. These three are super important when it comes to uh, having your own company. Like the staff here, this enables you to hire people. So if I don't have this, I can't hire people. Even if someone applied, assuming someone did, I can't see it. Finances, I can't even pay my loans in the company. This position, I'm not really sure what that is, but that's most likely company related. So if we look at this one, company mode, staff, disposition, map settings. <clears throat> but if you look, I don't have the setting for staff. I don't have the setting for applications for the finances. That's because I don't have the skills yet, yeah? So that's why. Anyway, what I wanted to do, I did buy something you might have seen from the stream title. <clears throat> I kind of bought the 0405 DLC. <laughs> um, I think it's one of the most iconic buses out there. Personally, I, I can't relate so much, unfortunately. But I do want to try it out. It looks really good based on the videos and the, the shots that I've seen and the feedback. Like most most of the people who I ask for recommendations on what DLCs and mods to buy, they recommend this one. 
So I think it's a it's a good buy. Hopefully. And hopefully we get to use it. Alright, there are a lot here. Um now the problem is I haven't really seen all these uh, textures, but I think, let me see if I can show you. Hmm. It's not so visible, but maybe I can show you something. Photo gallery. Okay, load it up. Yeah, it's a bit, I don't know why it's whitish like that, but you can see it vaguely. So this is the Extra VT. Or AVP, yes, yeah, AVP. This is BVG, this is BVG2. Um, and we can, we must be wondering what I'm saying. These are the repaints in here. So there's BVG, there's the BVG Airport City. Um, what I like, I think, is the Mondinens. So if you look here, X Demo, Demo, kind of looks good. Demo 2 is yellow. ES is, I don't know what color that is. This one looks like a classic. This one looks good. HHA. But I like this one, the Mond. Let's, let's go with that. I think that's that has a nice color. Right. Okay, let's go with the Mond, uh, Mondinense. Hopefully, I picked the right thing here. Right, let's pick that one. Buy bus painful, so you can see when I buy this, this is the company's money. When I buy this, I don't really, I don't incur the price yet because that goes into the finances. Like even though it says painful, it doesn't automatically get deducted from your account. You have to go to the finances section and then pay off the loan. The problem is I don't have the finances section unlocked, so I can't pay anything. So I have to do that within seven days. I have to learn all those trainings. Otherwise, I would be, uh, it would incur an uh, interest and I would lose more money. So I'll have to really work hard on that one. There you go, City Bus 0405. Beautiful. So we'll try the, the normal one and then we'll try the, the articulated one if the normal one is good. The single, how do you say it? The non-articulated version. Right? go and start a tour something that's uh, maybe 20 minutes away so we can explore the bus first let's go ahead and have a look at the shifts 8 12 a.m in the company's time and also the time here where i am in singapore there is no tour available really there you go so yeah most of these are pretty good actually now, I'm, what I'm not sure of is why does the other routes, why do the other routes not appear as available for me? That's really weird. It says not installed. But the other... Ficcine... Shchetin. Shchetin. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I see I forgot already. Other routes are available but not the specific ones. I mean, we can drive this one which is in 845, that's line 22. We did this in the video already though, so we might just skip that and use something else. So we have more options. Let's go with Bodenham. And then let's pick something in the in the future, maybe 8.30? Yeah, something here. Hmm. Harry Field this I think this is the super narrow route. I, I did a a tour once and there was the, the roads were so narrow. I don't know how you can fit a bus there. It might be that you need to take a smaller bus in that route. So I, I won't pick anything with Harryfield. Because that's just suicide. Okay, I think I like this one. The Hockley Raid Parade to St. Catherine's Hospital. I don't think I've done that yet before. It's 28 minutes, 8.6 kilometers, and 27 stops. Wow, a lot of stops. Cool. Let's try that. Hey Sulfuric, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'm glad you could join. Wow, why, why am I a bit... It's a bit uh, laggy, huh? Interesting me enough. The upcoming Ryzen Threadripper. No, I haven't. Tell me about it. 
Also, Shane, if you feel like telling your stories now, it would be it would be alright. But if you want to wait for more people, that's fine with me as well. Either way, whatever works for you. Okay, no damage. 0405. This is the one I recently bought. Drive with this bus. AMD is crazy for such a low price point. Yeah, 300 euros. That's fine. I do have enough permissions now. Should I should? There you go. Hockley raid parade. That's right. Bodenham V4O. That's the correct one. That's the latest uh, chrono something generation in terms of timeline. Line 10 circulation 70. We're good. Next. What is the Ryzen Threadripper? Is that like an upgraded version of the Ryzen? I might lessen the music a bit. Just so it doesn't uh, take away from the engine sound. So that's zero. Maybe one notch. Yeah, just minimal, like that. Alright, that looks good. That guy though. <laughs> Must be the developer, huh? Minimap loading. Let's hope that the same errors from last time don't reappear. Or no errors at all would be perfect. I st I'm still not sure why it hangs. Why it hanged before. I I'm not sure. I have no clue. It, uh, it, does it hasn't happened since. I was playing a lot offline. It's like AMD glued two Ryzen's together. <laughs> Wow, okay. So is, it, is this like an SLI uh, in, if you attribute that to GPUs? Wow. So that means there are 16 cores, 32 threads? That's insane. I mean, probably won't be maximized by games like OMSI doesn't... I don't think it maximizes multi-cores. But for other processing like rendering or streaming, that would be awesome. I would imagine that's very hot though. That produces a lot of heat. Didn't uh, didn't Intel release something new as well? The i9s, was it? I'm not sure if it's any good though. Why does the bus look like that? Or oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, set the schedule. Oh, we have tinted windows. I don't like tinted windows. I think we can change that. Yeah, so this bus features customizable uh, parts. Like you can customize them here in here, outside, uh, inside the game actually. So that's perfect for us. 830, yeah, that's good. But for Transport Fever, what's up with Transport Fever? Yeah. Uh, the gameplay update will release soon enough, thankfully. So this is how the bus looks. Ooh, that looks fancy. Doesn't look too old. Looks a bit classic, looks box type and everything, but looks kind of modern. Mondinense. I wonder what company that is, if that's a real company at all. And uh, that's a nice photo. Maybe, maybe not that. Maybe from here. It'd be nice. AIs will use more cores. Oh, you mean for transport fever? Ah, the, the Ryzen for transport fever. Does transport fever use it um, correctly though? I mean, can it maximize multiple cores? Oh, there you go, Shane. Nice. Nice sounds here. 
Let me just see. So I'll read that in a bit, Shane, right? It's a bit dark, isn't it? So let's turn on the lights. Let me remove that steering wheel in the meantime. The lights are there and there. This is for the cab, I guess. So that's one. That's this one. Oh, this is for the cab. This is okay. I guess these two. Yeah, that one. Well, I wonder what I'm clicking. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Just leave that there. I'll have to adjust the temperature first. Now, I'm not sure where to set that. Is that here? What is that? Maybe I should read the manual, huh? I have no clue what I just did. Let's bring that back to default. So your and your mom and dad were sitting outside having a barbecue and decided that it would be a good time Where's the heater? To go fishing later in the evening. You finished dinner and packed fishing supplies and headed to your boat. You get in and head out on the lake. It was about 20 minutes when a sudden downpour of rain started. <laughs> your dad went to start the boat up and didn't start. You were stuck in the rain for 10 minutes. It rained and the second the rain stopped, the boat started. Wow. The boat just didn't want to get wet. <laughs> I think that's it. That's basically it. <laughs> derpy boat is derpy. That's one. That's two. That's three. Let's increase the fans. What is that? Air in the cabin. In the driver's uh, section, I guess. This is air in the passenger section. I would assume that's how it works. All right, that seems uh, understandable so far. <coughs> Where do you set the heat, though? Where do you set the thermostat? Okay, how how hot it is? I guess maybe that's the one here because this is the only thermostat thing I that can come close to. If I make that maximum, will it get hot in here? 21. Now you can click that. Dashboard looks pretty nice, by the way. Maybe it's above. That's the IBIS, I would assume. I don't see the any. I don't see any uh, thermometer. Thermometer, anyway. Let's have a look here. Nada, nada. About that button. Nope. This one is for customizing the the parts. Pretty handy. Pretty fun. Can bring back the steering wheel, but I think I want to. Okay, it's heating up a bit. I'm not sure how we're doing that though. What is that for? That one's for the heating, I guess. The initial warm of the, the engine, if that makes, if that's the one. But yeah, I still can't see the thermostat. Mm. Okay. All the loading. All right, what are, where are we going? Where's the timetable? Where's the timetable? Is it here? Okay, I can click it. There you go. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is uh, the one for Bodenham. This is where we're going. 10. Line 10 to St. Catherine's Hospital, right? Let's set that here. Hopefully that works. Let's say line is 01000. Let's hope it works the same. Please wait. Bit button. Yeah, and then root is... Uh, how do you set the root? Probably M. Uh, zero, 01. No. 
uh, B A Wood No Okay Maybe I should read the manual first, huh? Where's the language? Is there like a language somewhere? Oh, this is like the LCD The brightness This one Brightness for the keypads This one I don't know what that does That's uh, ZL I guess that's the destination Two is Einstellungen Test mode Nah. Google Translated. Hey Gav, how are you? <laughs> Help me Google Translate it, guys. <laughs> we are five minutes we're five minutes away from uh from the pickup. We have to get this going. I still haven't done any customization yet. What is that? Uh just a license. Uh just some stickers. Okay, the seat we can still move so we can go out and in. Good morning or good evening. We should have windows. Yeah. Mm. Let me see. Maybe it's in the documentation somewhere. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we can pause the game, right? Yeah, just pause it like that. Let me look for the manual first. Uh, where do you put it? There should be some documents here. Manuals? Oh, that's my own directory. There's a directory for the, the docs here. Docs there. Manual OMC2. I don't think there's anything for the 0405. Man. Let's say add-ons, maybe it's here. Add-ons, 0405, there you go, manual. Right, got it. This is the copy of the manual. <laughs> so you guys can see as well. All right. It has those funky overlays though, but that's fine. So let's see, how do we use this? It says, uh, this is what I like about OMC. You know, it's just like, a real machine or you have the manual and uh, nobody reads the manual but you should really should gauges red front air pressure right that's good dashboard lights yellow all right yeah retarder direct retarder that's pretty clear high beams blinkers stop request uh, stop request okay not sure what that is number 10 so we know where it is. Number 10 is that one, all right? So like in the upper right of the speedometer. Eurofair is the version marketed for Europe and is more popular because in the A90. I can change this one, I think. I should be able to change this one. Okay. Main menu contains the date and time. Driver has to enter the line and route number by pressing function using the keyboard to input them. All right. All right. All right. It's clear. In different options, Optima, modern ticket printer. Uh, this is the one I want. So you have an option to doing something like that. It's funky, isn't it? Like it shows the next six box bus stops here on the left side. It has ticket selection buttons over here, so they're pretty easy to click. They're humongous. Info screen and the stop control buttons there. Okay, so next and preview stops. All right, let's have a look here. Uh, dashboard side controls. Good morning, Edmund. Welcome to the stream, man. We I bought the 0405 and we're testing it out. Timer thermometer. Uh, where was that? Number one. Oh, okay, so we can change it. Pressing the clock button will toggle between these functions. Okay, that makes sense. So we can do that. Number two, smog mode. This will close the vents pulling air from outside and the ventilation system will work the air inside the cabin only. So when there's smog, you press that. Passenger air conditioning. Opens the vents to flow heated air into the passenger compartment. Number three. Why didn't I have those buttons? Or didn't I just notice them? Okay, we need that. Number three. 
Number four, open the vents to flow fresh air into the passenger compartment. Uh, probably not because it's cold outside. Front airflow direction controls. Not sure what those mean. Articulation warning override switch. Okay, we don't we don't have that. We don't have any articulation. Seven is the uh, there air control knob. Select whether to draw fresh air from outside or warm air from inside for the front vents. So I guess we put it on the other side. That means we're using the inside air. Air control knob. Mm. All right, that's the one. Eight is handbook. Nine is destination list. Okay, that makes sense. One's on visor, two's on visor, three radio, four is destination display. Three possible controllers. Please see below how to operate each one. All right, all right. This one. Um, oh, this is not the one. Okay, the Anax is similar to the Ibis. Roll blind is the old school one. This is what we have so far, the Lawo. So let's study how to do this. Uh -huh. Changing the root line is a very straightforward operation. We did the L, we pressed L. We uh, input the line in the keypad. keypad. All right, that's good. And uh, to show the new line number in the third line of the display and the destination codes for root one and two in the second line, respectively A and B. Pressing either A and or B, buttons two or three will change the destination code you choose. Ah. However, manually entering destination codes is also available. So that's the ZL part, I think. Yeah, Sonder ZL. If that's how you read it. The first mode, you can also turn on and off the backlight for the screen. Yeah, that's what we did. The handbook is where we can change the parts. All right, so let's do it one step at a time. Do it one step at a time. Uh, minimize that. Move it here. Minimize that. And let's see if I can work this now. All right. So it says line 10, right? Line 0, 01000. 0, 0, 0. Okay. Now it says A or B. Ah, that's the one. All right. So I guess, where are we going? I guess it's A. Okay, it's loading that one. Now, did that work? It did work. It did work. Line 10, St. Catherine's Hospital. And how did I know that it was 6? It was guesswork. But if we look at the, the manual here, it should display... It should display the the line, I think. Yeah, number six. Destination number six is St. Catherine's Hospital. Make sense? Hopefully it does. Let's get that in. And let's change some of the parts before we need to go. When I think I need to turn on some of these, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think that's the one I want. The heating inside. That's the smog. This is the for the driver that's for heating outside i wonder what this is for we can click it all right it's fine so let's get the manual let's change something you can change the you can have the rpm really where oh that one all right yeah that's the rpm all right i like it Toggle ticket machine. Yes, I want a different one. There you go. Isn't that fancy? Yeah? Toggle automatic manual doors. I don't know if it's automatic or not. Curtains? If we can even change the curtains here? Hmm. I don't notice anything. Anyway, alright. What else? Is there like a next page? No. That's it. You can change the hubcaps, the doors, the destination display, and the marker lights. How do you click that and look at it at the same time though? Hmm. Let's let's start with the basics, right? Let's leave that be. Because the main interest for me is this one. This cool looking thing here. So high tech. 
uh, and it's lagging. Close the door. So there's like a tapping thing there. And uh, here, is it English? No, it's not. Alright, line is 01000. Root is 01, I guess. Is it right? So, Hemel Industrial Estate, Hockley Raid Parade, that's where we're coming from, right? Yeah, go to St. Catherine's Stop. Yep, that's the one. And then we can click the return single, day rover, child return, child single, and that I think it's not used. That's perfect, that's so easy, easy to click. Right, we're good. 8.27, we are two minutes away. Crap. People are in there already, I think. Let's get this party started. And seems like beautiful engine sounds. Mirrors seem to be working. Frame rate is doing good. Doesn't seem to be anyone here though. Really? Look at the driver, he's white. Oh there. Loaded now. Oh that one. That one's the second button. But I, I want that to be automated actually. How do I automate you? Maybe that's the setting in the in this one. Yeah, toggle automatic and manual doors. Oh there. Yeah, so it, it adds that there. Let's add the automatic thingy. Okay, that looks good. Is that automatic or not? Okay, that's automatic, I think. Right, good to go. Let's get going. So how long were you on your... Uh, what do you say? How long were you on your camping, Shane? How long is it usually? Why is there no one here? And why is there no route here? You really enjoy Trucker for Hire, episode 7. Oh yeah, me too. The one with the MAN? Yes. That's one of my smooth rides, to be honest. I think it was the smoothest w smoothest ride I've had yet. That's probably thanks to OMSI as well, because I've been getting some training when it comes to turning corners properly. <laughs> oh, this is the, the stop, right? There you go. Return, please. Return. That one. Yes. 420. Yeah, thank you very much. Sure thing. Isn't that... That gives just 3, alright. It's a bit different than what I'm used to. One week. Wow, that's, that's quite a long time as well. Five minutes late. Okay, fine. Temperature inside is 17.9 degrees. That's fine. Let's see if this car will circle all the way around. It will. Alright. Let's give it enough space then. Do I drive as well as this in real life? Well, I drive real slow. I'm a real slow driver, but I guess I don't drive bad. 
I just don't drive fast. Good uh, morning. No one entered. Really? Someone entered from behind? For real? I don't want you using that. Yeah, we still have uh, to do a bit of adjustment in this in this uh, bus. No, uh, but admittedly, I learned a lot since I started the ETS2 series. Like we are yeah. what? The main series is what? 100 episode 152 now. So I, I've. I've had a bit of experience driving trucks in particular. But yeah, as you will see later on, it, I'm not as good when it comes to buses. So there's a bit of a learning curve there still. So hope not to hit that guy. But the key I found out is uh, to really not rush things. Because the more you rush things, the more it will end up in a disaster. Let's see where they come in. They come in from there. Hmm. So I'm not sure what, what happened there a while ago. Single. Yep, exact change. Yes, Thank you. Sure. That's a day rover, yeah? And you need 15 you, cents for that. My pleasure. I have to say, I really like the older trucks more. They really have more personality. If you could put it that way. Plus the sounds are much more fulfilling as well. Like the new ones are pretty cool because they're high tech and everything Absolute but road. I think this one has the perfect mix. Like it's, if you look at the dashboard, it has very old school, a, a very old school looking dashboard but you can look at the computer as well and see that okay it's not really old school it's just a classic. And this is exactly how the setup is in Japan. When we were in Tokyo. Oh, that guy didn't even... Man. That kid didn't even ride with us. Yeah, when we were in Tokyo, most of the buses are like this. If you look at it from outside, it looks like something came from the 80s or 90s. But then again, when you look closely inside, way. the computer system the the displays and everything are all modern so it's just classic by choice okay uh that got moderated for some reason skip that stop allow it did i miss one stop i might have huh no, it's just straight ahead. Right? Good. I'm an industrial state. Wow, it's been a while since I caught an ambulance in this map. Wait a minute, Shade. I'll read, I'll read that in a bit, right? Okay, is this guy stopped or something? Show me he is. Slow down, make sure not to hit that guy. Wow, it's really noisy here. Crap, we're on the other side. <laughs> Can they ride like that? <laughs> Probably not. <huh? laughs> Probably not. Can they? I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, because the, I blame the GPS. Well, no one rides with us then. That's fine. I will not turn around for you because I'm running late already. <laughs> so your aunt had you over one night for a bonfire. And it was rather a chilly night, so she said, 
industry way. We go inside her trailer for some popcorn and a movie, right? I'm with you so far. When we went to the door, she realized it was locked. Crap. She reached in her pocket. It's an ambulance again. What's up with all the ambulances popping up behind us? Phew, thank you. Realized to slot, she reached in her pocket for the key, but she took a glimpse to be continued. Took a glimpse in her trailer and she saw the key on the countertop. <laughs> GG! Man! She ended up spending the night at your trailer. Oh man, that sucks. How did she open it the next day though? Did you have to break the lock or something? We're late, as usual. Whenever I do a stream or record or something, I always end up late. When I play offline, I do much better. It must be the, I don't know, camera shyness or something. Pressure being on the, on the camera, under everyone's scrutiny. Absolute bus garage. Absolute bus garage. There you go. You riding with us? Not really. Doesn't look like it. Let's skip that. By the way, guys, guys who are uh, watching, if you haven't already, feel free to join the Discord server. The Discord server is right there, as posted by Nightbot. We do have uh, some discussions over there, some additional discussions, some discussions about mods, news about different games, or life in general. It does get fun, and it's a pretty uh, immersive experience, so I would highly suggest that you go there and join, join us. She had to drive 30 minutes to town and get her spare key. Well, good thing she had a spare key at least. Didn't have to call a locksmith, uh, some locksmith or break the... Totally break the door or something. Speed up a little. Stand we need a little speed. bit of speed here. Can't rush this place though. I, this is always the one where I hit something. So let's slow down. At the risk of being late, as long as we don't have a crash, that's fine with me. Okay, that car will for sure go because AI has no visibility on me. <laughs> it's like I don't even exist in their eyes. Wow, that's deep. Anyone here? Gonna ride with us? Nope. Why is no one riding with us anymore? Do I suck that bad? We do have the right number. We do have the right destination. They just don't want to ride with us. Fine. And not road. Right. Hemlock Road. Okay, this time we're not too late. There's still no one here though. And I'm not sure if anyone wants to go down. Hopefully not. Are we going straight or are we going right? Apsley Station. We are going right, alright. Slow down a bit. This 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 bend is always where I get into accidents. Alright. Easy does it. Now for some reason, we're just one minute late now. That's nice. 
I guess we got lucky with the traffic light. How are things doing in terms of temperature? Temperature wise 23 degrees, 24 degrees is a bit hot. I think I'd want to adjust that a bit. Absidy station, I think. You have to go around, okay. Alright, someone sounded the the stop signal. The bus stop signal. What? No, it's still Haps Absidy station. Sis, you have to go back. Okay, I'll, ju I'll adjust the stops later on. Okay, let's do it slowly. I do love the indicator sounds though. This is perfect. I'm liking the truck so far. Uh, the bus. <laughs> Got so used to the truck turn. There you go, AFSD station. Hey Snappy, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Do you play OMSI as well by any chance? And uh, how did you find me? Many questions, huh? <laughs> Sorry for the many questions. Good morning. Good morning. And then suddenly I'm just behind by a one by 1.8 minutes it's weird super weird 2 3 15 for you can i have a return ticket please drive sure thing return ticket for you 2 4 20. top of the morning to you love okay oh sorry uh a die rider please 2 3 15. Day rider, love. okay everyone wants tic a ticket now Uh, a day rider, please. There's even a counter there. Interesting. Day rider. Like a, a, a barricade. Single, please. Single. Sure thing. Two for you. Jump Jump on on to you love. Return. Uh, 20 cents. Can I have a My word, it's hot on this bus. Oh, yeah. Someone's complaining now. Thank you very much. Hello. Bay Rider, please. Bay Rider. Oh, it's a uh, single, please. One day rider, please, driver. You found me via transport fever. Ah, that's nice. Thanks. And I have some news about transport fever, if, in case you don't know yet. The patch is coming in around two weeks' time. And so that means we will be starting a new series as well. Because that's what I've been waiting for. So let's get some air from outside as well. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Might be too hot now. Let's open the windows, guys. We're a bit late, but... Windows open. Let the air in so it's not too hot. There you go. And I did want to change my station. Their Apsley station. There you go. Are you able to post a photo on Discord of what happened on ATS when we tried auto parking? I think you should be able to post. Uh, like post it to imager and then it should you should be able to link it if not I can do that manually I can uh, give you privileges afterwards oh man this is not what we need right now got to go all right have a good one thanks for dropping by snappy set up this thing again <clears throat> wow it's 16.5 degrees now i think i overdid it let's work on the heating here let's 
still not sure where to put where to adjust the, te the temperature strange I have no clue here we go yes here we go <clears throat> have a look at my mirror first there we go mirrors are life Fifteen degrees. I guess fifteen degrees is a bit too cold, huh? Yeah, I still have to get used to this bus. How it works and stuff. Single. Where the heck are you coming from? Did you just go outside? <laughs> Getting colder and colder still. Winchester Street. Hope I don't hit that car. Thank you for stopping. And yes, of course, we're late. Take it, lad. 15 cents, thank you. Good. This is where I'm paranoid, where you have those cars on the side. Winchester Muse. That's why I try to stay as to the left side as much as possible. Because the last time I, I saw, last time I experienced that the the borders were a bit uh, the head the head boxes were a bit exaggerated like you haven't really hit them visually but it says in the game that you hit them let's take it slow get to know the bus better okay no one there St. Mary's. It's a bit of a tight squeeze here. Let's see. Cars? Nope. Nope, we're good. St. Mary's Road. How about this one? Ooh, weather just changed. Nope. She's not going to have anything for us. Anyone there? No. Nope. Right. Good. Let's proceed. Absolute town hall. Okay, we have to be wary of these intersections. So I think we should give way to them. So late now. Four point six minutes. That's fine. Staying safe is top priority. Because we don't want any damage on the bus. We'll have to repair it manually. And it's such a hassle. Morning. Good morning. Yep. Next stop is the last stop. So everyone goes off. We did manage to sell a lot of tickets despite being late. So I guess that's the silver lining. Any car coming? Nope, we're good. I do like this map a lot. So good. Just filled with life. Oh, we're stopping here. We're not stopping inside. Okay. It's fine.
Wow, it's getting really laggy in this place. Oh, this is not yet the last stop. Crap. Yeah, we're going to St. Catherine's. And now they're complaining about the cold. Single? Good. Give me a day rider, mate. Day rider, sure thing. Lovely. Cheers. Nice. Alright, so st we still have a chance to catch up. Maybe. Five minutes though. We'll have to <laughs> catch up two minutes. Doesn't look so good. Nags head. Right. Let's get going. that engine oh yes we haven't seen something yet I'll show it to you after the trip let's not terminate the tour yet after the trip let's play around with the settings of the bus oops wrong braking you know what we'll do we'll close the windows so I think it's really cold outside. Uh, child return, sure thing. Is that the right one? Okay. Sorry for blocking the road. Alright, I think it's heating up now. Yeah, it's heating up. Nice. The windows did the trick. Healing lane. Okay. I always get nervous in these corners. I don't know, I still don't get how to corner a bus properly. It just I still feels weird with the physics. I do understand that it helps a lot looking at the mirrors though. So that's why I super paranoid whenever I turn. I try to look for him. I try to look at the mirrors every single time. No, I, I don't think you can chain. You, you have to upload it in imager first. The permissions aren't set to that one, I think. I think for subs they are. That's That might be one of the sub privileges. I have to double check. Anyone? can make it we will not be making that five minutes out okay that just barely made it insulane any takers yes we do there city 10 Trent way 
it has that automatic uh, announcement thing as well pretty handy pretty useful good transport fever i will start a new series when the patch hits and uh, it did announce in the, the blog for transport fever that they are releasing it july 26. Uh, child single sure thing 130 that's for you young lady 370 is your change have a good day need harder it's good it's good temperature is good now 20.4 this heating up bit by bit I think I'll adjust that just a little if I turn that on will it get too cold no it's fine yeah I'm waiting for the new update so what I'm planning is I'll wait for the new update to hit. We'll do probably one or two more episodes on the current series and then we'll start a new series. I think I'm going for the Innsbruck map though. That's currently the best one I've seen so far. But I have to test it still. I still have to test it fully. But yeah, quite a number of people recommended that Innsbruck mod, Innsbruck map. Really a lot of someone came in and someone went out that's good I figured something out if you remember from the last stream I was breaking too Saint bad like the, the brakes weren't working or something I found out it was because my settings were different it was uh, like having a progressive braking system, I think, and it was getting me in trouble. So I changed it to the normal braking, and now I can brake just fine. It's such a, a game changer, to put it. Why are these guys not going? Am I blocking the road or something? Not really. Huh. Okay. I can probably uh, move forward a bit for you guys if you're feeling a bit vulnerable. Still don't like it. Alright, get behind you then. Now when can we go? In Singapore, people would go already, even if the light was red. I've seen them go when no one is uh, incoming. But in here... I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. Okay, let me slow down here because this is the intersection that I fear the most. This is usually where I hit something. Like that. Almost hit it. That's super tight. That's this is not for a bus. Yeah, okay, barely made it. Yeah, no crashes, but super late. I guess it's a start. In OMC, your gas pedal seems to always be stuck a little bit down when you touch the brakes. It comes up. That's strange. Gas pedal seems to always be stuck. Huh. Oh, yeah, and it hanged again. The game, ha game hanged on me again. 
It happens on stream, I think. Might be, I don't know, running out of memory or something. Hmm, how do we do this? Start again. Hopefully it fixes itself this time. Might be running out of memory or CPU power or I'm not sure what. Something's happening. Let's wish it works this time. I did turn it off in the, <clears throat> in the in the last part of the previous stream. I did enable the load the entire map thing and I think that kind of worked. But I turned it off again because I thought the issue was fixed. Apparently not. Not really sure what's causing it, but it just hangs. Like it forgets that it has to load something. Super weird. Let's see, let's see. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. <clears throat> When I forgot my water and crap. Hmm. Anyway. Let me have a look here. You know what? I'm thinking about it. I don't, I don't think I've ever gone on a camping trip. Like literally set up tents. Oh, maybe once. Yeah, just once. But it was a school activity in... Uh... Okay. Is it hanging? It's loading. Hospital. Accident and emergency. This bus terminates here. There we go. Good. Yeah, back in high school I think it was when I needed to it was part of the CAT or the military training and we had to go to this place and wake up at around 4 or 5 in the morning do some drills march around do stuff why is my door open close it thank you But I didn't, don't remember really setting up any tents. Maybe someone set it up for us. So I, I don't know how to do that. I have no clue. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Cool. I was thinking, Shane, maybe it's a calibration issue. Maybe you have your pedal set to like not at zero so it would, it would always be triggered even if you're not stepping on it. Maybe that's what's happening. And look, all our passengers just went away. Zero passengers now. Doesn't get saved unfortunately. We're just finishing the tour here. There you go. Didn't even let me finish anymore. It's like, stop it. <laughs> You've done enough. Right? So let us stop here and try to tinker with this bus a little more. Alright, so it's 24 degrees. Let me close the let me close the windows. Let's try to tinker with it. Can I change the tint of the vehicle? Doors, destination display. Uh, let's say if I change the doors, that change? Maybe if I close it? Oh, it's closed, okay. So it's, it looks like that. If I click on it, it changes, yeah. It has that paint now. And one more, no more. Paint, 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 and then see through. 
No, that's not see through, that's open. Why is that always open? There must be a lock here somewhere. One sec. Mm. I'm looking for the icon which locks that. No, oh, not that one. I see white people. Yeah, doesn't close the other one though. Maybe it's in the config. If I make this a manual thing, there, I should ideally be able to close that. Yeah, I think it was a bug. That one, yeah, that one. There you go. That's locking it. If I click that again, that one doesn't lock anything anymore. There we go, that's what I want. And then set that to automatic again. There you go. And set it up. That's turned on. And when we do that, Nothing works anymore. What the heck? Is that bugged? I think it got bugged. Okay, so with this automatic feature, I control doors left and right with different buttons. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I'm actually doing something wrong here, huh? Right, so now I can open those doors. Nice. I can turn it off, turn it on, the bus stop brake. Okay, that's clear. What else? You can change the doors, right? That's see through. That's painted. Let's leave it painted. I like that. The hubcaps. The hubcaps are pretty standard. We can make that white. We can make that white again. And we can make that gray. Or is it? Is there an option? I think there are just three. Okay, let's let's do that. That looks clean. Destination display. Looks like this. But if you click that, nothing happens really. Oh, that one. Pretty old school. Wow. That's white. I do like this one though. The digital one. And then marker lights. Uh, marker lights are the ones here up top. There and there in the corner of the bus. Like these guys. Here and there. And we're causing a bit of traffic, but that's fine. Alright, that's clear. The curtains, I'm not sure yet. I haven't really seen what changes. Let's bring that down so we can see. Right, these are the curtains I'm assuming. Like that. So if you click that. Did anything change? Let's do it like this. Yeah. Curtains. Nothing is changing. So maybe it's not these curtains. Or maybe from outside. Okay, it's that. If I click it. Do you guys notice anything? I don't notice any difference. Oh, well, that can be opened. Interesting. It's pretty cool. Cool. I like that. Can you also open it from inside? That would be nice. Like from here. If I click that, I can. That's actually more realistic. And then I can go there in front. Set this one. I can also set that here. Pretty nice. This is for the like the emergency opening of the window, right? Like the window breaker. In our buses here in Singapore, when these guys 
when someone pulls them out of this container, there's like an alarm that goes off. So you can just steal it. This one we can't do that here though, fortunately. So we should also be able to click the bus stop. Yes, that's actually pretty nice. And that opens. It's quicker in the station break and that should light up there as well. Nice, yeah. I like this. This is all simulation stuff. What is that? Emergency something maybe? That's the same. It's just something on that side, I think. Alright, alright. It's good. Looks good. So at least we know better in terms of uh, aesthetics. Now in terms of ventilation, I have to study it first. I think I have to look at the manual. One sec, huh? Um, let me see. Dashboard, side console. Ticket, machine, operation, dashboard lights. Yeah, this one. We have to return to this one. Let us study, guys. Studying. It's good for you. It doesn't really say how to heat it up. It does say which parts there are in the bus. So I think that's a good start. Airflow controls, miscellaneous switches, number two. All right. All right, so mostly number two. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, 8.1, and 3. I guess those are the important parts. Fuel, tank, level. Oh, the dashboard red. Dashboard lights, dashboard switches blue. Yeah, this one. So interior light, heater fan controls. <clears throat> 8.1 and 8.3 operate the heater units along the floor of the bus. 8.3 controls the unit in front of the bus, just to the right of the driver. All right, so there are three heater units in the bus. And then you, you have op an option of switching them on. Driver heater control. Diverts airflow to the vents above the driver, right? Hmm. School bus mode. Cool. Defroster switches. Front defroster, right defroster. 8 and 13, huh? What is that? 8 is. Are those. 13 is this one. So if we have a look back, this is 8. Yeah, this is 1 and 3. This is in the. The, the passenger side, I guess. And this is the one to the right of the driver, it's saying. Somewhere over there. Yeah, it's probably that one. Look, if you leave it open, it actually swings outward. Like, if I just open it a little, it falls. There's actual physics involved. And if I leave it over here, it falls to that side. Pretty interesting. Okay. I like tweaking with stuff like this. This is like the heart of OMSI. All right. It's good. Uh, now, how do we work on the heating? So, if you want it not to be too hot, you can, one, open the windows. Or if you want to manage that inside, you can probably turn off some of the heat. Like, turn off the heater there. And that should already control the heat. Yeah, it's getting colder now. The time here, we can just change that temperature by clicking that. Which we don't really need because we have that overlay now. But if you want to be realistic, you can keep that in. This one I still don't get. Uh, I think this is the airflow from outside or inside. But it, it's somehow it's a throttle, so you can you can go halfway. Like half the air is coming from inside, half the air is circulating from outside, or something like that. I don't really know. Okay. Next. So we get that part, 13, what is 13? Those two. Um, what was that again? Like the defroster, yeah? So we, the, we, it's for the, the glass, I'm assuming. Okay. Parking brake light, 13, yeah. Defroster for the glass, I guess. The dash, the windshield. Maybe. 
Tor controls. 20.2. In automatic door control mode, that's what I want. One operates a front wing. 20.2 rear wing. 20.3 releases both of the rear doors, which will open if a passenger wishes to exit the bus. Yeah, that's what I want. Gear selector buttons, that's pretty clear. Optima, we know that already. And then dashboard side con console, this is what I want to uh, study again. Thermometer, smog, passenger air conditioning. So that heats up the place if we turn that on. Number four opens the vents to flow fresh air into the passenger compartment. Okay, so that's getting air from outside. Number five is front airflow direction controls. What does that mean? Let's have a look at it. Front airflow direction controls may be a bit too large, huh? So it says if it's uh, if the air is going up or if the air is going from going down or both. Okay, so we turn that on both, so it's air is circulating everywhere. That that sounds good. And then what else? Articulation override. You don't have that air control knob. Select whether to draw fresh air from the outside or warm air from the inside for the front vents. Okay, so yeah, it, it's something like what we understood. Right? That's pretty clear. Kinda-ish. <laughs> alright, alright. I think I'm good with that. I think that should be enough. So in here, if we look at the temperature now, it's 23.6. Mm. And if you want to, you can probably do it like this. So it gets air from outside. Yeah, so that's getting cold now. Nicer. Uh, we turned off the heating. These are all for he the heat. What is that though? What is that? I always wondered what that button was and I think it's time I, I understood what it is. It's number... 7. Right, number 7. Blocker heater, block heater switch. Ah, it's for, for preheating. So when you're starting from cold, when you're, it's the first time you start the, the engine, the engine doesn't have heat yet, so this will help start the heater up. Okay, so that works. That's, that's part of the tutorial before. Good, good. I get that. In this one, I shouldn't close the manual anymore because I have so many questions for it. Okay, that is, what's that? That air thingy is 13.1, 13.2, 13.3. Oh, everything is about defrosting, I see. So blue, yeah. Front defroster, right defroster, and then driver side windows defroster. Cool, all right, clear for now. We minimize that. Because I might use that again later on. Right. So now at least we know a little bit more about our bus. 22.8 degrees. I think that should be fine. Okay, good, good. I think we can exit now. And then we'll do the same thing again afterwards. Bus stops. 27. Wait a minute. Why am I late for all? That's not right. What the heck? I don't know. I don't know what that was. I have no clue. Probably because we overstayed in the bus, it got a bit bugged. Okay, at least we got the permission. Wow, that's a thousand euros. See, we earned a thousand there because the portion for the company is set to 1%. So the company isn't earning any money, but we are earning a lot personally. And that's good, I think. Right, let's go and drive the next tour so we stay in the bus and uh, 
don't start from scratch again. Let's go and do something else. Line 10 is what we did already. Everything is St. Catherine's Hospital. We go line 2 maybe. From the hospital to back to Apsley Stand. That works. And that should be the opposite direction of, of the video we did before. Wait a minute. Why is this plus 12 already? I don't like that. Start time is 9.31 though. Okay, just the wrong, just the wrong line, right? Phew, that got me nervous. Line 22, okay. Line 22, circulation 210. Starting at 9.15, no, not that one. 9.31 is the start time, that one. Yep. And then in here, we set up the IBIS thingy. Or whatever you call it, the annex. Why does it seem like it changed now? Oh, maybe that's the one I changed here. Maybe that's the curtain. Or the destination display. No, no, no. Or maybe I. What's the tachograph? Did I change something there? Do you notice any difference, guys? RPM. That removes the RPM, sets the temperature instead. Oh, or pressure rather, sorry. I want the RPM. Um. RPM. Okay, that's the one. This tachograph thing. Let's see. Let me try and notice something here in the speedometer. Oh, there is something, I think. That one, maybe? I don't know, let's keep it, let's keep it there. Display, is the display good? The display is old school, I don't like that. I want it modern. Okay, that's the one. So... How do you change this again? Because I want the other one. Just because I, just because. I would assume we could have changed it here. Maybe that's the curtains. Yeah, click that. Did it change? Not really, huh? Uh, about one more. No, I don't think that's the one. There you go. The ticket machine is here. That's easy enough to figure out. Do I have other pages? Nope, that's just the one. Okay, that's clear. Look, someone's coming. Who is that? Not in service. There's some guy who's driving. Yeah, there. There's the name. I wonder which company he's in. How did I change that, guys? How did I change that thing? Destination display, marker, lights, hubcaps, doors. Let me consult the, the the manual. Ticket machine. Optima. 
that one dashboard overhead four see below how to operate each one Anax controller, yeah, this is the one we have right now. This is what I want, just just to try it. Okay. If you wish to change any of the features, simply click dashboard side console, it will open it just above the steering wheel, right? This is already creating your own. Does it make sense? All right. Let's see there. The curtains are the only thing I, I'm seeing that's possible. Okay, let's leave that in. Maybe they are... Sure thing, Shane. Have a good night. Thanks for dropping by, and thanks for the stories. Maybe this is like the window, not curtains. Is that the tint changing? Not really, huh? Okay, anyway. Let's leave that there. Let's get going. Let us open these uh, vents. Yeah. Also the one behind. It's this one. There you go. Should we open these as well? I don't think we should. Might get too cold already. Alright. And then this one we said... Uh, what was it? They said line 10 was it? Line 22, okay. Route 2 probably, okay. So we set that to line 02200, route is 02. Absolute station. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Good. Let's take a photo while we're at it. But we remove that floating thing. I think I pressed something. Just close the door. Yeah, that one. What I haven't showed yet was this piece. So you can actually open this. You should be able to. I don't know how though. There, there. There you go. It actually changes the, the speed. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Pretty nice. Pretty fancy. You should be also be able to open the door from here, I think. From here. And then the switch there. There, yeah. Okay, let's close that. So when the driver is outside, you can still get in. Good. Uh, the setting here, I think we have to do as well. Did we? I kind of forgot. Mm. No, no, no. Line, yeah. 0, 22. And 0, 2. There you go. St. Catherine's Hospital. If you want to move, 
can go that way. That way. Alright. Got it. What is that? Oh, that's the bottom. It's like the opposite way, I think. Alright. I am good with that. Let's open this a bit. Just a tad. Alright, so I'm assuming where, where should we go? should go there I believe and then go left the map I don't think is accurate it wants us to go around but I tried that before and if you do go in that route you don't actually get anywhere you actually uh, don't stop at the the bus stop in St. Catherine's Hospital you skip it all together so I don't think that's right So let's turn around here instead. that city 10 again really like that skin quite afraid he might hit me though okay let's hope no cars incoming because i need to eat that other side just a little and here we are just a teeny weeny bit early actually by a lot 10 minutes no takers let us advance the time a bit one mm, one two three four five maybe how about now anyone yes i think there are there you go Good morning close the door so it doesn't get that cold why is that guy standing I don't want to sit down all right suit yourself let's get that two more minutes in nope no one okay I think we're good to go Two minutes early shouldn't be that bad. I think the allowance is around two minutes early. Okay, I think we're good there. Let's hide that thing. Should be good. Nice. Now this junction here usually has traffic. I don't know, maybe the traffic lights are not the friendliest around. But yeah, they usually cause me some grief. So it's good that we kind of left a bit early. Also, I, I, until now I haven't figured out how the driving evaluation is uh, determined. Like after the trip, we would get... Um, an evaluation in, in the different aspects, right? Bus stop, if you're late, if you're in time, how many accidents, how many tickets sold. And then at the very bottom, there's this driving function. Close. Yeah, make the light a bit closer. There you go. Should be okay. Yeah, so the very bottom there's this driving item 
which I have no clue how it gets calculated. But I'm assuming, I was assuming it was, it had something to do with following the traffic rules. Like even though the game doesn't penalize you directly, like for beating the red light or you know, those kinds of stuff. And it doesn't really flag you for speeding all the time. You, you get just unlucky sometimes. Upper Heston, no takers. Yeah, fine. What's happening? Why are they complaining? Maybe I missed his stop, I don't know. But yeah, the, the driving I think is a factor of following the traffic rules in general. That's why I try to stay within the speed limits most of the time. But we'll see if that works. The highest I got was ever was 60 or 70% I think. But really it, it's super random to me right now. Return, please. Don't really understand it. Uh, 20. Good. One way. Wow. Bit edgy, aren't we? Having a bad day, maybe. Cool. Right. Let's proceed. So what I'm hoping for is to actually earn enough money so we can. So we can. Uh, learn those training those company uh, company relevant stuff like the staffing finances and things like that someone stop here i don't think so skip it mcdonald's first time i've seen that here yeah so i hope to do that and so and I, I'm not really sure if anyone has applied but if anyone has it would be essential that we learn those skills and I would have to definitely learn the, the finances part so I can pay off the loans otherwise it's gonna be real bad right. let's maybe have uh, just one of these or maybe actually hmm, yeah, just one maybe just to help things out a bit so that should enable the heaters in here in front. 19 degrees is a bit cold though, isn't it? Let's turn on all of them. <laughs> and just adjust accordingly. There you go, it's heating up. Let's turn off the one here, the in the middle. Is that a Montero? No, it's a, it's a pickup. What is that? It's a Strada, I think. Finally. So yeah, every time I beat the red light, every time I speed, every time I go outside the line, I'm kind of paranoid now that it affects the driving, the driving stat, driving score. Hopefully they shed some light on that. Because I read the manual and they didn't say anything about it. So maybe it has like a, I don't know what really it's all about. Someone's uh, dropping off here, I think. Yeah. And someone's riding with us. Right? That's cool. Because right now we don't have a lot of passengers. Can I take it for you? Nope. Okay. Fine. Whoa. Whoa, lady. What the heck? Alright, at least it didn't signal us as we hit her or something let me just double check that it's not flag yeah okay sometimes the game can come up with some real weird stuff Charlie Street in a trailer extra timetable anyone here any takers I think we do have one yep people are fidgeting right at the station Come in, come in. Hello, mate. Silent child. Single, I think, is that one. Even though I can't see it. Uh, 50, 70. 
Sure thing. So I think all this time I've been opening just one side of the door. <laughs> so now at least I know how to open both of them. Whoa, bumpy. Wessex Street. Let's try to catch up on some speed. We are less than a minute behind, so it should be possible to catch up. We don't have a stop here, we don't have people waiting, we do. Okay. Gotcha. Don't worry, I'll stop for you. I gotcha. Need anything? Hello driver, can I have a day rider please? Day rider, that's the third one. Then we get 315. No cars, thank you. We're good. Camberwell Park. Have to speed step on it. The engine on this thing is not as strong as the more modern buses that I have driven. So I have to step on the gas a lot more. But it's fine. At least I get to feed it more as well. It seems like someone's dropping off here. Look at that, we've actually made up the time already. We're almost on time now. Dropping off. Hello. Can I have a return? Yeah, some people left, I think. Return, sure thing. Uh, that's uh, one, two. A return ticket, please. Same for you? No, oh, thank you very much. My pleasure. What's amazing about this bus as well, at, right after you turn off the station brake, you can go already. Because usually in most of the buses I've driven, once you, once you unlock the station brake, you have to wait for the doors to actually close. That's some kind of uh, safety mechanism, I guess. And it makes sense, but it's not very good for the driver. Anyone here? I think so, because they're facing me my, my way. Morning. Right, we're good. Up next. I don't know what station that is. We can read it there on the display if we zoom in. Nags head. Oh, there we go. Nags head. Thank you. I like this. I really like this computer here very modern unfortunately though that they seem to be not using that thing because i'm assuming that's the tapping where you have your card and you tap there they're not using it i've seen others where they use it but maybe it depends on the map yeah maybe it depends on the map on how it was coded or something I love large roads. But in here, every time I get still paranoid that I'll hit one of those cars on the right. And actually, I remember Jesse co complaining to me. Or not really complaining, but asking if I really drive close to the center line in real life. And that's the answer is no. <laughs> but uh, someone dropping off? Not really. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just so scared in this game because the hitboxes aren't really the most accurate from what I've seen. So better get some space as much as possible. Absolute bus station. All right. This is not yet the last stop because we're stopping not at the bus station but just as the state at the station. It's the names are a bit misleading. Sitting right, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, focusing. 100% concentration there. Okay, don't need to step into the depot, to the bus station. Just stop over here, and this is usually where the delays happen because of all the people in here. So we'll have to be really uh, fast with these passengers. Can I have a Four twenty. There you go. All right, which I take place. Sure thing. Twenty cents. Uh, one twenty. Sorry. What? Hello, driver. Can I have a single, please? Good morning. Here's the one for you. It, uh, it's probably just a ticket go. printer. It might not be a tap thingy. That's just where the print is. Lovely. The ticket Jeez. is printed. Good old sir. single, please. Sure thing. First time I heard that voice actually. Thank you, you very much. <laughs> that one not. I think that's the one where you guys told me it's like an Italian voice. Okay, I got a bit late there. A minute a minute and a half late, but it's fine. We can make that up. Easy. Steady as she goes. Go down here. Sometimes cars come out of there, like right there, and that car won't even pause for us. Like it, it will not see us at all. It will just go straight ahead, and we'll have to pay the penalty. Crappy, right? Yeah, that's how it is. Right? Anyone? Waste of time. And then we go all the way around here. It's like a roundabout. Saint Mary's Road. This road is pretty narrow though. I'm not sure if in real life there is something like this. And I have to take a look at those intersections. I already got hit by that before. Because I thought I had right of way, but apparently not. The AI always has right of way in this game. And then we turn right here. The mirrors are really so useful. That's a bad thing about the Sitaro though. I really like driving the Sitaro but um, someone leave? Yeah, I think someone did. What I hate about the Sitaro is it's not very friendly when it comes to the mirrors. Like the mirrors are always stopping and I think it's for saving frame, frame FPS. But even if you see the mirror like that already, it's still not moving. Winchester Muse. Yeah, it's, it's a bit finicky. The mirrors in the Sitaro. I think I have to adjust it manually, the settings. I'm sure there are parameters there which set when the mirrors stop and when they trigger. But I think yeah the settings aren't matching. Like you see the mirrors already and you have to focus on them more. So they they move. Good. Let's try and catch up a little. Humps? What humps? Winchester Those humps. <laughs> oh man. Okay. As long as we don't exceed around 48 kilometers, we should be in within the speed limit. I do love the audio on this bus. Oh, hello. hello to you too. To the voice. <laughs> yep. Hemlock Tower. Okay. Give way. No car. Thank you. I am liking this bus a lot. I 
Any takers? I didn't open the doors. Sorry, my bad. One day rider for you, driver. Day rider, sure thing. That's 315, your change. Speed it up a little. I think this is our stop already. Yeah, after we go left here, that's Apsley Station already. Station. This Should bus terminates here. Unfortunately, seems like we are in a red light. Where's the handbrake here, by the way? Oh, it's there behind the wheel. Can't really see it that well, but it's there. Oh, why is that look so dirty? Man, we're losing a lot of time in here. This might make us late. Come on. And when that goes, the first thing that will go is that one. And we still have to follow. And I'm dreading this left turn again. This is the... This is the worst left turn ever. I don't really know how to handle that properly. I for sure cannot just follow that line there. I'll have to turn later. But I still don't get it. I still don't get it at all. Can I go straight already? And just maybe wait here? That will save us some time, right? I'm not sure if that will... Uh, get recorded as a negative driving effect but the pedestrians are on stop anyway so we should be able to wait just here actually we should be able to go now I'll go there's no incoming car slow down here super slow okay there you go actually fit in there nice and now let's go full throttle if we'll make it within the 3 minutes, I'm not sure, but we sure as heck will try. And the good thing is, we're stopping on the right side, we don't have to turn around anymore, I think. Yeah, speeding a bit here, but we need it. Okay, so we stop right here. Everybody get off. Thank you. Everybody got off, literally. I hope they don't cross in front of me, though. Because that's gonna make me lose a lot of time. And I think, let me try just doing a shortcut here. If I can maybe use this. And then just use this as, like... Turn around point, not gonna happen. Huh. Alright. Wrong move. Bad move. Never mind. Let's stick to the original plan. <laughs> it's too narrow. Right. As I get used to the bus, I should be able to pick up speed more. Like that. But yeah, this bus is really amazing so far. I like it. Line 22, yep, this is our stop. And... We're there. Too early in the first one, but that's not really counted. What counts is the, the second one here. Good. Very good. And the temperature, I think, is just perfect. 21 degrees. Yeah. So we should be getting a very high score here, I'm expecting. No delayed stops for the first time ever in the stream. <laughs> 
right? No punishment. We covered how long, how far. 3.3 kilometers. We sold 13 tickets. And this is where I'm. There's a big question mark the driving. Yeah, I don't really get that. The comfort, I'm not sure why it's like that. Probably this they complained a while ago. Yeah, they complained, but I'm really not sure what, what was the cause for it. But yeah, I think this is the highest driving I've gotten so far, 67.8. That amounts to a 94% score. This is the highest one I've gotten ever, I think. That's really good. We got 726 there. Awesome. Where did 908 come from? Oh, it's 797 plus 120 euros. That experience bonus, really nice. Really nice. What time is it? 10 a.m. I think we can do one more tour. Probably two. We can stick to with Bodenham or we can change. Hmm. We can change to... Uh, the Polish map to mix it up a little. I think let's try that. Yeah, just to switch it up. And so we can have a look at s as well if we can buy something already in the company. Let me mute the music. Okay. Okay. And the music is gone. It just kind of goes back for a few seconds and then disappears again. Um, where are my buses? There we go. So this guy here... No database connection. That's bad. That's That looks bad. 51 persons. Uh -huh. Looks good. Feels good. I like that bus. I might try the articulated one actually, just to see how it feels. Let's go and uh, sit on the computer and see. I'll probably take something from Poland. Oh, look, 5.7. Nice. Now the training will cost around 7,500. Yeah, that one costs. We can get this position, but I don't really know what that is. I think that's the, just the scheduling. Don't really need scheduling right now. We need to accept more people in case someone applied. And later on, we'll need 10k to pay off the debts. And we'll also need to pay our debts. Because so right now, we do have a lot here to pay for 300, 2,100. Yeah. Or what we can also do is we can rank up. We can rank up here. Oh, we need more experience points, I see. To be rank 5. Okay, okay, fine. Alright, so we'll, let's just drive then. Drive a lot more. Hmm, I do want to get the... I do want to try the articulated bus though. Because I remember... Um, who was it? Jesse mentioned that the articulated buses actually turn better. Is that random? Yeah, I think it's random. 0405. Let's get the G version. Mm. There we go. Now let's try a different skin. What was that which I liked as well? Was that the MVG mine means? Mines? Wait a minute, let me have a look at it. Vehicles 0405 and then the texture repaint. Open that with uh, photo gallery. That one, a yellow one. This one, guys, it's kind of nice. HHA. This also works, the mains one. MVG is blue, I think we'd like something a bit more different this time. RL, SSB. This looks cool, VLG. And yeah, that looks pretty dynamic, pretty, pretty colorful. Let's go with that, VLG. 
Where was it? VLG44. Yep, that one. Trying to look at the model numbers. Hamburg Hockman. VLG. Okay. Bye bus. Painful. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty long. Maybe should have put it here on the other side. Let's switch you. Change parking position. Move you here. So the short buses we place on the left. The long buses we place on the right. That one. And then the small buses, we need to buy a small one as well. For the very tight roads. Right? That's good. So let's try that articulated uh, version later. Actually, now. Let's have a look. If we have a bonus tour. We do have one. Line 188i488. That looks pretty good, actually. Let me just have a quick look if that, what type of vehicle, what type of bus that requires. Because some routes in this mod, in fictional Shchetin, uh, Shchetin, <laughs> are, uh, require a small bus. So let me just do a quick check here. And let me show it to you what I'm seeing. That one is what I'm seeing. Yeah. So there's a Polish version and there's an English version. The English one. Did it say 159, 259? I think it did, yeah. One no, it's 188, 488. Okay. Completely got that wrong. <clears throat> Wait a minute, this is just reserve. We can't drive that yet. Oh crap. Okay, we can't drive that yet. Let's get a new one here instead. Okay, we can get that. Yeah, we can get that. I would have loved this one. That has 4 EP bonus. And yeah, I don't get why this is not installed. If anyone knows, do let me know, okay? Maybe I'm missing a version, a different version somewhere, or I'm not sure. Substitute tours, nothing. Okay, let's take the 188i48 from Fried Sochin, Fried Sotin to Ostrov. 188i48. And if you look at the PDF, 188, 488 is this one. You can get a maxi in there. I'm not sure what the maxi is. 1250 meter buses. Oh. I think we need a mega because we are using an articulated one. So maybe we need a different route. We can't go with that one. Let's see what else. 357 or 275. Hmm. Okay, let's see. 357. Uh, 275 is maxi as well. 357 is maxi as well. What the heck? Is there nothing for us? There's one here. It's quite long though. Line 63. How about 387? 387 or 865? 865 works. Replacement line. Works with a mega. Yeah, we can work with that. 865, 23 minutes. That sounds perfect. Let's go with it. Cool. Right, let's proceed. Always running around the company. All by our lonesome. I like that it reflects the correct kind of vehicle at least, even if it doesn't reflect the actual model. CLSY405. Thank you for following. I don't really call out the name immediately because I might um, offend some lurkers, but if you are, if you want to be acknowledged, just say hi in chat so I can properly thank you. 72 persons, CLSY 405G, that's good. No reported damage. Drive with that bus. 300. Yeah, the bills are just <laughs> racking up. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to drive a lot offline to get all that money. <clears throat> okay, so now I do have selected the correct off file. You guys told me to work, select the correct one because there are two options Project Chechen 
Shetin or Fichine Shetin. Shetin. <laughs> Always difficult. Line 865, that is in Goklav Kop Koptinskiego. Don't quote me in the pronunciation, right? That one? 865. Might be this one. Yeah, it looks like it's this one. Unless there's another gok left out there. Don't think so. Right, that looks good. 58, 865. Hopefully that's the right one. <laughs> okay. Fill in Skiego. Doing it. Now it's the waiting game. There you go. Everything set. Yep, yeah, looks good. Start it up. Now, before I had the impression that uh, fictional Stettin is uh, is a very relaxing map, but it turns out it isn't, because uh, as in the previous stream we were, we ended up in a disaster at that point. So there was a very narrow road near the railroad, and uh, it was like sharing both directions in the 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 they call this the ai was just derping up just going straight through me even if, if i was stopped it's just going straight through me repeatedly so i i kind of hit like 10 cars or more and in the end i was like 45 minutes late <laughs> or something 30 plus minutes late can't remember exactly but it was just a disaster so after that i realized okay it's not always relaxing it depends 10 30 that's the one yeah. Ah, okay. So the the, all right. So the start is Goklav, and the end is Kop, Kopsinskego and Koptinskego and Ferinskego. That's like one word or one place. That makes sense. Kind of. Let's start the engine though. Put that key in. Turn on electronics. And start the engine. And we'll have to, temperature is below, we'll have to turn on this heating and turn on everything because it is super cold outside. Look at that, 8 degrees, wow. Yeah, we'll definitely need a lot of those. I'm not sure what that is. We probably need to verify that. One sec. Let's do that. Where are you? You are here. Number 9, I think it was. Blue 9, driver heater control. Diverts airflow to the vents above the driver. Okay, okay, we need that. I don't want to freeze out here. Makes sense. Now it's heating up. I, sh I think we should get air only from inside, otherwise it will be too cold. Or let's maybe mix it up a little like that. In here, circulate the air from inside. Passenger airflow, both of both sides. That is heating up the. Oh, that's actually making it cold. Why? Why? What did I do? No, it's getting colder. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, it's still getting cold. Maybe it's these two? Oh no. Why is it getting cold? Let's maybe do that. Or maybe it's been getting cold ever since because the engine isn't heated up yet. Hmm. Unless I'm doing something wrong with that is. Yes. 
Anyway, let's do that be for now. And uh, set this up. How do you do this again? You set L. We say 86500. And then we pick the right root, A or B. Well, it's both 652. So I guess it's, there's only one. Destination is... I have no clue. Oh, nice, nice colors here. There you go, that's the right one. Kopchinskiego, Felinskiego. Good. Right, looks good. Why, why is my timetable not set there though? That's weird. That looks bad. Should I maybe pick B? Let's see. Did that change? Koklav. No, no, no. A, it's A, definitely. Definitely A. Because Koklav is where we are. There we go. Right. Going back track IR. Is it getting colder? It's still getting colder. Hmm. Let's do that. Turn that on. Let's do that. Yeah, two should be fine. Is the engine heating up? Not so much. Need to make it heat up. It's not moving at all. I'm assuming it's this one, right? Okay, am I doing something wrong here? It's still not getting cold. The doors, I think I want to change the doors. The hubcaps are fine, they're painted. Looks pretty nice, actually. The doors, though, I want to change. Can they be more painted? There we go, that's what I want. Painted doors. Nice. It's pretty classy. Now we'll have to get used to driving with an articulated bus as well. Oh, because we have to set this. Okay, got it. Uh, airline 865, if I remember correctly. Did I? Yeah, 865, 01. There you go. That set things up. Nice. Good. So do we advance the time? Not yet, because we are getting colder and colder. I think I've done everything I can to heat things up. Do I need lights? What time is it? 10.23. Will it matter? If I go here and I turn on the lights, it does matter. Yeah, let's turn it on. That one opens anyway when you open the, the door. Like... Or not. And why is that not automatic? I want that to be automated. Oh, yeah, we have an articulated uh, vehicle here. So it might uh, perform something differently. Wait a minute, we'll have to figure this out. Okay, hopefully that closes by itself. Looks like it doesn't. Right, let's close the doors. Uh, remove the... Is that set or not? That's the station brake set. Open that. Let's hope it closes on its own. If I press this one... Where's the third door? Here. Oh, wait, one sec. I'm getting lost. I 
need to go there, bro. There. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't work. I have to do something else. Let's close that. Turn off the bus stop brake. Probably I can make it automatic. Okay, things are heating up now. That's good. Make it uh, automatic door. Did that change anything? Manual, automatic. There you go. So that's the one. So if I press this, that doesn't open automatically. Yeah. And the first button opens something. opens those okay so the second door doesn't open at all the second and third I think are pretty much automatic okay I'm gonna do that I kind of like that more anyway all right things are starting to heat up that's good I think we should go get going <coughs> once it hits 13 degrees maybe wow eight degrees outside I wonder how they do it when it's winter. How do they heat up the bus? They, they stay in here for like, I don't know, 10 minutes? <clears throat> More. Because we've been staying for a few minutes already. So, which stop are we? 865? 865 is that one. Alright, clear. Claro. bus okay go first if you want sure thing <clears throat> oh and i forgot yeah it's an articulated bus awesome we'll get a taste of how this works now it should behave more like a truck so it should not be as much of a truck of uh, a learning curve assuming that's accurate Okay. Good morning. Oh, sorry, I forgot. No temperature. Yeah, that's how it works. Einmal kurz. Guten Tag. Full rate. And it hanged. Hanged on me. Hate it. <coughs> Now we lost all the passengers. Man, oh man. I wonder why it does that. Maybe I should load the entire map. Oh, but the, 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 that Polish map is too much. Too many tiles, I think. I might lose memory there. I might run out of memory. Let's just pray that it works this time. It's a waiting game. But yeah, this, this economy part really brings out a lot. This old bus company simulator theme really makes it really keeps you hooked because there is something you need to attain. There is a, a mission, something to work towards. So it's not just driving a bus. There is something there. There you go. There they are. Oh, nice Hello. Hello. I would like a card for a quick time. Hello. 170? So we need what? 830? There you go. Full rate. 
Five and thirty. Sure thing. Okay. Gotcha. Same thing for you. There you go. Yeah, it's still cold. Fine. Um, I have a feeling our line isn't right. It is though, it is. It is right. Okay, good. I think we're doing everything we can to heat up the bus though. Unless I'm missing the thermostat or something. Okay, it is heating up, so let's leave it there. I can turn on the defrost thingy if it that help if that helps, but I don't think so. Like these things doesn't seem like it's speeding up the the heating up inside the bus. And my vents, my vents are closed. My windows are closed as well. So yeah, I guess it's just a really big bus. Right, let's get going. One minute away. Wish us luck, guys. We'll need it. Where are we going here? All the way around, I would assume. And I forgot to turn on something. That one. Okay. No bus there. Good. Let's take a wide breath. The mirrors are gonna help me here immensely. Okay, that's getting a bit too close. There we go. Speed limit is 40. So we'll try to follow that. And we are crossing... Oh, our train just went by. Nice. We're moving to the left here. No train? No train? Nice view. Oh, wow. What can I do, guys? It's a darn railroad. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> These guys are insane. Okay, let's try not to speed. To affect the driving score. Let's be responsible drivers here. Now, if the line is set up properly, as, as long as we maintain 40 here, we should be saving a bit of time, but looks like so far we're keeping it, just making it just in time. We're not getting anything, hardly getting anything that is. Go, go, go. Yeah, some humps, some, uh, some potholes on the road. I hate that sound though, you know that, that rain sound? That just cuts off, doesn't loop seamlessly. I hate that. I want to change it. Not sure how though. If any of you guys know, feel free to comment, alright? Let me know how that works. Anyone here? It yeah, looks, like, looks like a couple of people want to ride with us. Sorry, overshot a little. I'm sure you guys can walk a little. Here you go. Someone will buy a ticket. Hello. Sure thing. Here you go. 230 for you. Nice. Is that a bus behind us? Yeah, it looks like. Pretty, pretty colorful bus we have here, huh? We should take a photo. Maybe after after the job, if we're still happy. <laughs> That's the main thing. Wow, we're heavy. 
super heavy. Is this a stop? No, it's not. I was confused with those arrows. Yeah, right now I can't really drive without the arrows, even though I have a GPS in the lower left. I still need it. Because sometimes I miss my turn. Okay, we'll have to go slow here. Yeah, turn it on the retarder. That's perfect for the downhills like this. So I'm maintaining my speed actually. Pretty nice. I wish this bus had like cruise control or something. That would have been perfect. See, it's a matter of it's a it's a matter of uh, willpower to prevent yourself from speeding and when keeping to the 40 limit. But yeah, it, it is. If you just keep to that 40, you still gain a bit of time. So you don't really lose uh, time there. You don't really need to rush it. Is anyone coming with us? I don't think so. They're all riding with the. No, there, there is someone. Okay, fine. Morgan. Morgan. Why is that door closed? I didn't open it. My bad. Wow, we're heavy. Yeah. This feels like it has the same hor horsepower, same engine as the, the non-articulated version, but we're much longer, much heavier. Willpower check? 40. Kostiena. We missed. We, we've been there already. One more. There. Zamknięta. Okay. I'm gonna treat this like a truck. I'm gonna drive this like a truck. With that articulated feature. Do I need to go turn right there? Not sure. I might. No, no. Just there. The map is misleading. Makes you want to turn right, but you don't really need to. Yeah, that's why you need both the GPS, Omninav, and you need the floating indicators. I wanted to change the floating indicators though. Like, I don't really like that floating H. That's not really fitting in this map. I like the green thing, uh, the blue thing. 170, that's for you. 2, 3, 30. Sure thing. We'll take it for you. Hello. Uh, you need 35. Okay. I'm a normal advocate. Okay, full for you as well. 230. Good. Everybody good? You're good. Okay, all set. Nice. Why is there a moon there? What time is it? It's 10 a.m. There's a moon. Interesting. Nad Odra Stere? Is that 4? Oh, speaking of 4, keep it 40. I am liking the articulated version as well. I think I like this more actually. I might stick with this one. For my future jobs. Okay, let's keep it 39. If I can make it 40, that would be perfect. Yeah, you saw the, the sign there, it says 40. If we follow that, ideally, we should get a very high driving score. Okay, this might get a bit hairy though. Super sharp turn. Try to eat both lanes. Thankfully, there's no car there. Otherwise, it would have been a very disastrous moment for us. We'll stop incoming. Alright, good. What? Did we hit the curb or something? 
I hate it. I don't know what these people are all complaining about. I didn't feel anything. I might have hit the curb. I don't know. Morgan, Morgan. Morgan. Day ticket, sure thing. Thank you. One slotty for you. Even though the icons are probably not slotties, they're probably Deutschmarks or something. Man, we're half minute late there. Okay, it's okay. We'll earn it back. And that's why I keep on the center. Because those curbs are really awful. Another one of these sharp super bends. And they'll start complaining to me again here for sure. Oh, they didn't. Okay. I'm happy. Not gaining any time though. Quite tempted to just speed through it, you know, <laughs> just to get some time up. But it looks like we're slowly losing time. Not good. This is the right stop. Yep, it is. Seems like a lot of people will be riding us as, with us as well, so that means more delays with the ticket selling. Yep, get ready. Day ticket, sure thing. Wow, everyone wants a day ticket. And slotty for you. Full ticket for you, 2.30. As efficient as we can go. And we go. A minute late, it's fine. We'll make up for it. Fingers crossed. 50 people, wow. Let's have a look. Full house, man. Look at that. <laughs> Wait a minute. You have to get a photo here. You have to get a photo here. Was it? Was. Wow, noisy background. I have to take a photo of that beautiful full bus. Where Where are we? Where's the, where's the driver? He's gone. Rip a Rooney. Yeah, that's a nice photo. I'll get one more over here, I would say. So that looks really good. A full bus is a happy bus. One, stick to 40. I think there's an allowance of 3 kilometers per hour though. You so maybe we can go 41 or 43 maximum. They just don't want to risk it, you know. You had have unfled an, in an unfair matter. What? Where? One of those bugs again. Unless you guys saw something. If you saw something I hit, let me know, right? But as far as I know, we're driving pretty clean here. Yeah, I hate those moments. That's why I'm actually half tempted to turn off turn off the collisions. Use of those moments where you, you feel like you didn't do anything wrong and yet you're getting punished. But then again, that's the, the price for this game. It can get pretty rewarding with the experience, the simulator experience. But it can get pretty frustrating as well. During those cases, wow, all the people. Okay. Maybe we hit someone on the bus stop? Not really sure. No clue. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Come on guys. Step on it. Thank you. Might have to speed up a little here. Okay. What's happening? 
Why is that keeping open? Okay, there you go. Crap. That certainly lost us time. Not sure how that got clicked. I might have pressed a keyboard or something. And then this guy here. What's he up to? Parked in the middle of the road. Następny przystanek Skolwin Dworzec. Okay. Yeah, still a lot of people. Is it rush hour? Why does it feel like my bus is really super famous? Any takers? Oh, it's not us. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. Actually, lots of people unloaded here. Good. So as soon as those back doors are unlocked, or are uh, closed, we can actually go already. That's nice. Stolchinska. Stolchinska. was it. You know, I'm really quite interested to read Polish. It would be very beneficial for me. Polish and German. To understand it a little. Like the basic rules would help a lot. So I do tend to work with a lot of German and Polish people in my in, in my full-time work. And it would help to be able to relate to them more. And at the very least, learn how to pronounce their names. <laughs> that would be a good start. Anyone dropping off? Yes, we have someone wanting to go down. Wow, yeah. Good. Having two doors is faster as well, yeah. Faster and loading. And this car just wants to be the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. I need that space in order to merge here without hitting the curb. There you go. Come on, you guys, you're not helping. Wanting to stop at every available stop there is. It's not gonna help me that much. Wow, that's a bit bumpy. Must just literally jump a bit there. Like, look at that. What the heck did, they hit? did we hit? Yeah? What the heck did we hit there? An invisible wall. Yeah, we didn't crash into anything. Welcome back, Snappy. I'm not sure what we're hitting actually. Or well, maybe it's the sign. I don't know. Let's see. Now we're now we're really late. I don't understand it though. What we could be hitting? Yeah, it's probably the sign. Yeah, the the hit boxes are a bit. Not too realistic in my opinion. Okay, control it. 40. Let's not add any more damage to the driving. Anyone stopping? Yes. Okay. Crap, that actually destroyed my right indicator. Arr, I hate it. Definitely the sign. Insane, insane that that measurement there. I wonder if something else got destroyed. Lights, lights seem to be working. I think. Yeah. Let me speed up a little. And the map just ended. 
hide mini map, show mini map. Load up correctly, please. And now it's totally gone. <laughs> Come on, bro. Help me out here. Oh, it's 28 degrees now. Maybe turn off the fans. Okay, anyone dropping off? Turn off the fans, turn windows out. Open that a little. There you go. That should help. This looks deadly. What did we hit now? Did we hit something? Was ist das denn jetzt? Halten Sie mal an, lassen Sie mich raus. Das geht aber gar nicht. I don't get it. Halt Sie jetzt hier an, wir werden uns übel. Das ist ja wunderlich. Mann, wo haben Sie denn Ihren Führerschein gemacht? Uh, oh, we actually went over there. Alright. <laughs> well, clumsy bussing. Okay, now I can't move. Oh man. Okay. Rip, definitely. Okay, how do we do this? Can I teleport? No, I, I can't, huh? So we probably can't finish this? What the heck? It's going so well, kind of. Uh, wait a minute. Let me do something. I might be able to work something out. If I turn that on. I should be able to go forward and force it. Wow, or not. Drive, please. Hmm. Not looking very good here. And now I'm totally stuck. I wonder if it's saved. Start my turns earlier. Yeah, it's a right balance, isn't it? When I tried that the last time, I hit the left side and now I hit the right side. Ah, it probably saved where I am though, so I probably can't cheat it that way. Oh, that's frustrating. Let's see. Man, and I thought we were going so smoothly. Yeah, it's these narrow turns that really hurt a lot. So it seemed like when I was turning left, I hit something at the back. And then I, on top of that, I hit something in front as well. Hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Sometimes I get cheated by the game, but oftentimes it's just my clumsiness that gets me. We'll see where we end up. Okay, we're still here. now not really huh? let's try to uh, let's try to make it work look, look at the speed there 46 <laughs> actually bugged out on me 
Oh look, we're halfway inside the pole. That's amazing. Rip. Look how, how it's doing that one. And that bus on top on top of everything, that bus is even pushing us. Like can't wait for it to turn. There we go. That frees us up a little and he's gonna hit us, I think. <laughs> that bus is not helping at all, huh? Let me try and going left here. To heck with you. To heck with you. <laughs> we're free! Yeah! Alright, where's my GPS? Okay, we turn right, I guess. My GPS is, is non-functional anymore. Yeah. Show minimap. It's not loading at all. Hey, what the heck happened? I was free already. Look at my speed. 78 kilometers per hour. Okay. Suit yourself. I think this is what they call the jumping bus, huh? Now, if, if a train arrives now... <laughs> really gonna cry. Okay, that's not working. Fastest bus on, bus on the planet. Someone's like playing virtual... Virtual OMSI. A VR headset inside and he thinks he's moving at 90 kilometers per hour. Try that one more time. We're getting somewhere though. I just want to finish this tour. Or maybe I shouldn't so I wouldn't incur the penalty. So I wouldn't get the the broken mirrors, the broken indicators. Maybe that will help. Let's see how this works. That was pretty rip. Things started going wrong one by one. Started with the invisible crashing somewhere, the map suddenly going out, hitting something at the back, getting stuck in front. <laughs> ah, all in the day, all in the day's work. All in the day's work. Insane. part of the learning process I have to think of it that way the Kraken has arrived okay OMSI has stopped working great well that was nice and I think this time also, the bus company simulator hanged as well. Wait for the program to respond. Snap out of it, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, this is exactly what I was saying. It can punish you so hard, not only with the bugs, but with the instability. It is so worth it when it works, but when it doesn't, it's just pain in the neck what did they say in the UK? flippy neck okay this is not gonna work close it let's see how that works in the the bus company simulator how that turns out I did I was able to take some nice screenshots though app is running okay it wouldn't even want to start because uh, the app is still running how insane is that 
Okay, let me see. Let's try to check if any of these are running. Not really. Nah, not really. It should be running. If it doesn't, I'll have to run. I'll have to quit Steam. Nope, doesn't work. Alright, I have to quit Steam first. It says waiting for OMSI 2 to shut down. <laughs> My goodness. What is that? Exit now. There you go. Yeah, I am using Task Manager. <laughs> ah, insane. Okay, it's there now. Yeah, yeah. Let's try it one more time. Now it's running. Good. I wonder what happened to the job. Probably it didn't finish. I'm not sure if I'll get any penalty there. Wow, smooth man, smooth. <laughs> Dang night bot. <laughs> Achieve a driving style of 50%. Look at that, we're pros. <laughs> no, night bot helps me out a lot. See, we started the tour there. But it didn't say we finished it. Rip. Hopefully we didn't incur the... the damages as well. We'll see though, we'll see. Let's have a look. Unfortunately, I'll have to end the stream in a while. But at least... We get some closure first. Alright, Snappy. Have a good one. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for going back again. Yeah, it's X. Crap. Yeah, it's a different one. I don't think we can get another one, another chance. We can continue where we left off, I doubt it. How do we check that? Let me see. Maybe if we go down and see if we can go to the depot and take a bus, I doubt it, but just to check. Just to cover all our bases. So I guess that counts as a non-completed job. And I'm not sure if I'll get any penalties there, or maybe I won't because I own the company anyway. Uh, damages. No reported damages. So I doubt you can drive it, if you'd say that. Yeah, there's no shift activated. Let's just check if the damage pushed through. Let's inspect the right indicator. You play this sort of mini game, which doesn't make any sort of sense. Defective. So the damage did continue. I hate it. N Q W H D. That one's good. All right. Let's fix that then. Repair. Take the bus to the garage. Okay. So let's go here. The repair shop. Articulated bus can only be placed on the right side. Okay. Good to know. And didn't know that was uneven. Okay, and then damage. Repair that. You repair now until 11.18. Can it start another repair or maintenance work until then? Okay, it's good. It's fine. So there, that's the end of the trip, guys. For some reason, we got stuck somewhere and we couldn't continue anymore. And we ended up with the damage, but not with the profit. Crappy. <laughs> Crappy crapper. Anyway, 
I hate to end things on a sour note, but I guess we'll have to look at it as a learning experience. Huh? That sometimes the game really derps up. And sometimes I derp up. So with both of those combined, we get a very derpy experience indeed. A clumsy experience, yes, you would have it. Anyway, <laughs> let's leave it there for now, guys. I will for sure play a lot more of this. But hopefully, yeah, by next week, we should continue to normal schedule. Maybe Wednesday is still OMSI. But Friday, for sure, we'll go trucking. But yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. And uh, let's work on the stream together. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, hope you all... Hope you guys all have a nice day, have a good evening, have a good night, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Clumsy busing. Super clumsy busing. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys. Oops, wrong. <laughs>